Oh, and uh, let's quickly acknowledge my incredible backdrop, not sponsored by U-Haul. If you want a warm and delicate white paint color for your home, allow me to point you in the right direction. You'll get that in a second. Not only am I going to give you some important details on this paint color by Farrow and Ball, I'll also set you up with some coordinating paint colors to use alongside it. Whether you need a light, medium, dark, or bright white paint color, all of these are going to suit Farrow and Ball's pointing really well. That's uh, the, the point joke I made earlier. Pointing. Pointing. Oh, and uh, let's quickly acknowledge my incredible backdrop. Not sponsored by U-Haul. Number 2003 from the Farrow and Ball paint collection is described as a fresh and uncomplicated white named after the color of lime pointing used in traditional brickwork. Pointing has a warm undertone to it, which creates the prettiest of spaces when used on walls and always softens the feel of a room alongside strong traditional colors. So in this context, Farrow Ball's pointing is being described as an interior color, and that's mainly what we're going to talk about today, although it's based on the color of mortar, making it an excellent off-white to use outside as well. Just saying, it's not just an interior color. Also an excellent thing that you can do is a quick poke of the like button for good YouTube karma. Because as you can see, I've been busy lately, so I could use a bit of good vibes. Anyways, let's dive into this paint color, AKA crack the code on it. Farrow and Ball describes pointing as a warm and delicate white. And if you know me and white paint colors, I often say that true white paint doesn't really exist as much as we would like it to. In order for something to be a pure white, technically, it would need a light reflectance value of 100, which is basically a perfect score. And I have yet to find that color, and I don't think I ever will. If you're not familiar with LRV, it's essentially a lightness scale that is used with paint colors. Farrow and Ball notoriously just doesn't tell us the LRV of their paint colors. But if I would have to make an educated guess, I would say it's in the high 80s, maybe around 87 or 88. And that's objectively bright and will make the paint color feel a lot closer to white than most, but it also has a noticeable soft warmth present, which comes across as something quite creamy and smooth. It's not necessarily an overly yellow-based warmth, as that pale beige aspect has just the slightest hint of red as well. Which makes a lot of sense to me because pointing as a color is something that you might see in between some beautiful red bricks. So that little bit of red inside can kind of connect everything together. Pointing cements itself, what a segue, as a versatile warm white that is light enough to be used on trim and woodwork, but warm and pleasant enough to envelop a space in by using it on your walls. You'll often see Farrow and Ball pair this color with many others as a corresponding trim color because of its high LRV. But in a lot of cases, if you do use it on your trim, there's nothing stopping you from using it on your walls as well to create a nice seamless look. Now, what about some color pairings to coordinate with pointing? I'll start with the light color called Weave It. I would say this color feels like a very light taupe because it takes a hint of gray and adds just a touch of brown to give you an ever so slightly rosy undertone to complement the creaminess in pointing. In practical use, Weave It feels like a very passively pleasant, subtle off-white, and it just feels a little more crisp than pointing in comparison. Weave It becomes a good alternative to pointing in those areas where you don't necessarily want a lot of that creamy warmth. That's where I would implement Weave It as an alternative paint color. They're both similarly light, Although I would say pointing is my preferred choice for woodwork in general, because it is a couple points higher in that brightness level. There are some cases where Weave It kind of loses its color hue and just feels like a very light gray. So I would strongly encourage you to test this one out before you commit, because it is a bit volatile in how it changes from room to room. Now my mid-tone color really doubles down on that taupey gray pink feeling, and it's called Peignoir. Described as being a romantic, gray pink. This is the color that takes the neutral color palette into a more upscale direction. It has a decent amount of depth and presents a wonderful alternative to the grays, browns, and taupes of the world. Its pink aspect is really just rooted in a red undertone, and I would classify it as my made-up category of colors called rouge, which is just rougey gray settled with a touch of brown as well to give it a little bit of a grounded warmth. I really love its interaction with pointing because of how that creamy warmth accentuates that cooler gray quality 
peignoir. You can even get a gist of what I'm talking about in this image here with that kind of yellowy floor and the lighter woods. This could even be a very good subtle accent or darker trim color for our friend Weave It. They're both close enough undertone wise and there's a definite difference in depth between the two giving you that satisfactory level of contrast. How about the dark color pairing? Well, we take a noticeable dip in darkness with London Clay. And Pharaoh Ball describes this as their warmest brown. I think it's definitely warm, but it almost feels like a purple tinged taupe coloration, which is really rich and decadent, but almost somewhat desaturated. If London Clay is rich dark chocolate cake, then pointing could be a buttercream frosting on top. Doesn't that sound nice? It does to me, because I love food. The three color pairings we've talked about all share that slight red undertone mixed with a noticeable amount of gray to tone them down a bit. This gives pointing a bit of a distinction, being the noticeably warmest of the four with its creamy quality, and that will allow it to stand out really nicely. The true white pairing for all of this is going to be all white, just because of its simplicity. I didn't want anything else to overpower pointing's subtle undertones, and all white does that job really well, being clean and stark. But don't forget to test these colors before using them, please. I don't wanna read any angry comments of regret after you paint your whole house. So, you've been warned.